Hello people, I wanted to talk to you a wee bit about this plane, I've had it since 1989, and uh, November 1989, and I bought it second hand then. It's a Stanley number 50, and the blade that I've got in it just now, it takes many different types of blades, but the one that I've got in just now is a blade for doing bead frame. And I've used this a few times to make up my bead frame and I'll show you a profile of bead frame. But now I run it on the router, I've got a cutter for it. But I love it and this plane is almost to me, it's like an ornament that sits in a shelf. So. I think I'll have it for the rest of my life, but uh, I just wanted to talk about it. Anyway, the job that we're going to do this week is this, and I'll give you a wee look. It's a wardrobe, and it's a paint finish, and the customer wanted a push to open mechanism. And we'll crack on with it. We'll see how we get on with it. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, mark out a storyboard. So I write everything on the storyboard. I do a plan view and I do a side view. And that's the first thing I'll do and I'll talk about that. Um, it's always useful to do a storyboard. And we'll see how we get on. Here is the storyboard, this is the side view, this is the top of the unit, this is the cornice, it's a bit like this. The unit stands about 2.3, 2 meters 280 to be exact, high, and there's a wee drawer at the bottom of the unit, this is a side view of the drawer, and it's got a double hanging rail. So when I draw everything out, I like to make sure that I've got a minimum of at least 950 millimeters of hanging space. The more the better, it needs that. And this top hanging rail, I'm afraid the customer maybe got to be on their tippy toes to try and reach it. So that's the side view. On the other side is the plan view. And this is the front here. Here's a column. Here's where the two units join together. Here's another column. This part overhanging the unit is the cornice. And the cornice miters at the end and it turns back to the wall side bottom. So you're always better even though this is not incredibly difficult but it's good to do a storyboard and let you see if there are any issues that might pop up so it's always good to do it.
I think it's full. Good morning, YouTube. Here we are, we're on a job. I've uh, had to disassemble everything in the workshop just to get it in because it's not a big room and it's a big unit. So I'm just about to put this together. Here's the carcasses, here's all the parts, and I'll set the camera up and we'll do a wee time lapse, see how we go on. I'm 
Okay. 